Welcome to the screencast on Boolean basics and the use of parentheses in specifying searches in Transana. This screencast addresses subtle but important details on specifying searches correctly in Transana. You have to be just a little bit careful when using Boolean logic with computer programs like Transana. You need to really understand what the terms mean and how the operators work. Otherwise, you're at risk for misinterpreting your search results. Let me describe exactly how Transana searches work. I've created three keywords, A, B, and C. I've applied these three keywords in all possible combinations to create clips coded as A, B, C, AB, AC, BC, and ABC. This allows us to explore a little bit about how searches work. Let's start with the basics. Let's do a quick search for A. You can see that Transana returns all clips in the dataset coded with the A keyword, returning A, AB, AC, and ABC. Now let's search for A and B. In this instance, Transana returns all clips in the database that contain both our A keyword and our B keyword. The results we get include only AB and ABC, as these are the only two clips that have both keywords assigned. Now let's search for A or B. In this instance, Transana returns all the clips in the database with either of these keywords. You can see that we get a lot more clips in our search results using OR than when we used AND. Boolean aficionados will also note that Transana uses an inclusive OR rather than an exclusive OR in its search interface. Now let's do a series of slightly more complicated searches, each of them nearly identical. Let's start with open parenthesis A or B, close parenthesis, and C. Note the parentheses around the a or B clause. This search finds all data coded with either A or B along with C to give us the results of AC, BC, and ABC. All of these results contain C as well as either A or B as this search query specifies. Now let's run A or open parenthesis B and C, close parenthesis. Note that the search terms are identical in the same order, but the parentheses this time are around the B and C clause. This search finds all data coded with A as well as all data coded with both B and C, giving us the results of A, AB, AC, BC, and ABC. Same search terms, same order, but different parentheses lead to different search results. So what would you expect if you ran the search of A or B and C without any parentheses? Same search terms in the same order, but this time we don't have any parentheses. What would you expect? Should this match our first set of search results? Should it match the second set? Or will it get something altogether different? When we run this search, we see that our search results match the second search we conducted, as if the parentheses had been around the B and C clause. 
Some people find this result counterintuitive, expecting that the search operators will be executed in the order that they appear, but that's not how Boolean logic works on computers. See, Boolean operators have an order of operations, just like basic math operators do. The AND operator takes precedence over the OR operator in the absence of parentheses, but parentheses take precedence over the normal order of operations. As a result, I want to make two points about doing searches. First, don't rush your searches. Take a moment to think through your search specifications carefully. You don't need to be afraid of searches, but if Boolean logic is not your strength, it might be a good idea to ask a friend or colleague to help you when doing searches. Second, when in doubt, use parentheses. Parentheses override order of operations and allow you to specify exactly the search you want. Remember, computers will do exactly what you tell them to do, regardless of whether that's what you intend or not. That's both their greatest strength and their greatest weakness. Searches are very powerful, and as long as you're thoughtful when doing searches and use parentheses, searches can help you gain valuable insight into your data.